Hello and welcome. My name is Kyle Fordland and welcome back to the episode of Road to Commander here on Black Ops 6, Black Ops Cold War. This is episode number seven. And in the last episode, we got ourselves to level 34 sniping, which was a lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed last episode. So definitely be sure to check that one out. But today we are going to be doing some RPD. I actually need to adjust this class a little bit, but we're going to be doing some RPD usage on Nuketown, which I think should be a lot of fun. I haven't played Nuketown 24-7 in a long time, but I rem remember really enjoying the mode, of course. So that's what we're going to be doing within this episode, and hopefully we can get some really good gameplays. I actually need to look here and see if I, oh, I don't know if I have Berkey yet. We need to get through 10 levels first, but uh, the RPD is a really fun LMG within this game. I really do enjoy using it a lot, and I think this should be pretty darn fun. But anyways, hopefully you guys go to enjoy this nice episode. I'm not going to give you a number, a game count for this one because it just depends on what mode comes up. Um, but anyways, I will see you guys all in the games of the video. All right, guys, welcome into game number one. We are playing some hard point here on the map of Town. Hopefully we can do well. And I have some big streaks on. I don't really know why because I'm like, oh, we're going to play this map and we're going to go on some big kill streaks and we're going to have a great time. But I, I should know better. They're going to get air patrolled. Most likely, especially on Nuketown 24-7. You know, everybody has an air patrol. I don't, but you know that almost at least one out of the six is going to have an air patrol. I have your six. Contesting hard point. Hard point lost. Yeah, hard point, hard point on Nuketown is one of my favorite modes on Nuketown, and it has always been has always been. I mean, I really, really enjoy Hardpoint on this map. I think I've had a couple of 10,000 score games on Nuketown. Like, not Black Ops Cold War 10,000 point games, like Black Ops 2 10,000 point games. Okay, I'm shooting a mannequin. The mannequins look so much like the characters from this game. I don't, I don't know why I always do that in this one. Oh, buddy, nice try. Okay, is this M1911 secretly... Secretly awesome? Okay, run away. I can't go prone. Just gotta keep... Strafing. We're good, we're alive. Okay, well, we've already got a straight front. There's a 12 kill streak already. Okay, then. I actually think I've gotten a nuke with this RPD before. Yeah, I definitely have. So I could definitely get a nuke with it at any point. Even if we have no attachments, it doesn't matter. Especially with the hand cannon. Oh gosh. Okay, let's not. Let's not waste our hand cannon. We have it, so we might as well. No! Dang. Well, no nuke for us. That's okay, though. I was actually really hoping that we would have gotten... ...continued that kill streak because... Uh, ...people back started backing out. No, thank goodness. I hate it when people back out. Okay, go ahead and back, back up right there. Beautiful. Okay, 
Okay, how much score do we need? 375? Okay, I really want to try and get that streak this life. Because... I want to make sure that they don't... Call in an air patrol. That right. Okay, luckily nobody has enough score for an air patrol yet. So I need to make sure that I get this streak very, very, very fast. I mean, like, the fastest I've ever gotten it. That was an enemy? What? What? Why is there an enemy in this house? Oh my gosh. I have five bullets. Okay, again... Okay, one person does have enough XP. Do I risk it? Mm, hell. Might as well. well. We'll just risk it. It is what it is. If they if it gets air patrolled, it gets air patrolled. I'm praying that it doesn't, but... It easily could. I don't know where. These enemies are exactly. Nice, let's go. And it got destroyed, but we got a we got like almost 10 kills with it. Not too bad. We'll take it. Well, that was awesome. The rare occurrence of a chopper gunner not getting destroyed by an air patrol. You love to see it. Oh, I love this RPD. It's it's pretty it's pretty awesome. And it has no attachments on it too. Oh, nice try. No, I forgot that that thing will kill you. Even if you have flak jacket. Definitely forgot about that. That's unfortunate. Okay, let me clean this guy up. And... Ooh. That person down as well. And that person... Go ahead and go this way. Okay, the harp is gone. You have to be careful. Are they still spawning back here? Don't think so. Oh, that was close. Okay. We are almost on another streak, but... I think my teammates are actually going to finish this game out. I don't know why. We're up by so much. No, don't end the game. They're going to end it. Wow, 56 and 6 for game number one of the video. I will absolutely take that. That was a lot of fun. Man, I'm really enjoying Black Ops Cold War. It's fun to be back on this game. It really is. I, I loved it back when it was the main Call of Duty game, and I'm slowly coming back around on loving it again here on the Xbox. I, I wasn't crazy about this series or crazy about this game during the like first couple episodes, like the first one or two episodes, but now here on episode seven, I'm loving being back on this game. Um, and guys, I'm going to do it for game number one. Looking over at my, looking over at my recording, we're only at 15 minutes total, so I'll probably play, well, we'll just have to see. Um, I'll either play two or three more games for you guys, or I'll probably either play one or two more games for you guys. Um, it all just depends on the mode, um, and as I'll see you guys all in game number two. All right, guys, welcome into game number two. We are playing some TDM this time, so we're going to play three games in this episode for you guys, because this one will go by really fast. This will be like a five-minute game. 
Maybe not even that long. Now, TDM is not my favorite mode in Call of Duty at all. Especially, well, it used to be, like, essentially every Call of Duty game pre, yeah, pretty much every Call of Duty game pre um, Black Ops or pre Modern Warfare 2019, but but now I really I really don't love TDM. I find it just to be a way too campy of a mode, and it's just it's it's just across the board. Like it doesn't matter what new Call of Duty game it is. Every, every TDM in these new CODs is very, very campy, and it's just not for me. Okay, see you later. Okay, run. Oh, nice. Double frag kill. Make it three. Run. Wow, that guy wasted his... <laughs> he wasted his thing on me. Sorry. Sorry, teammate. Didn't mean to do that. That's crazy. I don't think I've ever had a triple grenade feed in my life. Okay, well, let's run over here. See you later. Nice. Another guy down. Let's continue to push up here. And down we go. That's unfortunate. We actually do almost have a war machine. I'm a goddamn friendly. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy, what did I just do to you? Oh, man. That was, that was nasty. Okay, see you later. War Machine time. What? No way. Well, there's my straight run. Go back for this guy. See ya later. What? Spawn protection, I bet. And down I go. That might have. Mm, that might be bad for our chances of actually getting ourselves a. Dang it. I mean, respect to all these guys for staying in the lobby. I do appreciate it, for sure. Oh, man. Okay, let's have the spawns flipped over here. Okay, seven bullets. Oh, gosh. Oh no! Oh my goodness. I just no time to reload anything right now. I'm I'm destroying these guys with an M1911. This is wild. 31 and 6. What is happening? Is this just all because of G Fuel or am I just like figure figuring out Black Ops Cold War here? I don't know. I mean, I was pretty good at this game when it was the main Call of Duty game, so I think I'm just figuring it out. Okay, but let's go make sure we go call this in. It might get destroyed instantly, because that's just the reality of this game with the Air Patrol, but there's 27 kills left in this game, so I want to make sure that I get some of them using the chopper gunner. 
Go in. Go in, you beautiful kill streak. Go in. Trying to make sure that they don't spawn over by me. Let's go. Back to back chopper gunners. I wonder if we can go back to back to back. We will see. No! Those spawns, man. Those spawns. Okay, six kills left for 44 and 7. Arcade is probably going to skyrocket. Once this episode is over. As long as the, our next game isn't, isn't terrible. And there we go, 45 and 8 for gameplay number 2 there. That was really, really a fun one. Man, I don't know what it is. We're just going in in this episode right now, which is kind of crazy to me. But um, anyway, guys, hopefully our last game can be just as good, if not better. And I will see you guys all in our final game of the video. All right, guys, welcome into our final game of the video. We are playing some Domination here on the map. Nuketown, of course. Hopefully we can do well. Now, I think this one's going to be a little bit more of a battle. Might not be quite as easy as the last couple of games. Just kind of a theory I have. I mean, but it's really only because of the levels I'm seeing. What is even going on? All I know is that a lot of my teammates are doing well right now. That's for sure. Better be careful though. Jeez, you already. I think we've. I mean, we've already split the spawns, that's for sure. Oh, having a texture glitch. Okay. This is a weird spawn. Don't think I love it very much. Yeah. I, I kind of figured that this would happen. Oh, buddy, nice try. So I actually know why we've been leveling up so fast. And it is all because... Okay, that it was... We died, but it was worth it. We... It's all because of the fact that we are getting all of the seasonal challenges on top of just the normal challenges. So we're getting a lot of XP per, per match. I think... That first hardpoint game that we were playing on Nuketown, we got 46,000 XP. It was pretty wild. But, yeah. Looks like I was absolutely right. Really? Oh my gosh, just get me out of here. Sit down. I mean, those moss hobs really aren't that good. They don't get you kills, but they're just incredibly annoying. Like. Incredibly annoying. Okay, let me go, let me go upstairs. Dang, that was an impressive kill. I won't even lie. That was pretty darn good. Unfortunate. Wait, didn't I just equip? Yeah, I equipped the 75 round mag, but it didn't register in time.
Nice. What did I just get killed by? The same weapon I have. Interesting. Killed me really fast with it. Wow, okay. That's kind of crazy. Die again by the same freaking person. Well, not the same person that just killed me the previous time. I meant to say the person that's been killing us a lot so far. I hate playing like this, but shoot. I was definitely fed a bone for those first two games on Nuketown. Oh man, I love when my team doesn't can't get past the 50 yard line. That's so much fun. But part of, a lot of it's my fault, but a lot of it is my teammates' fault too. It's not just mine. Wow, that was rough. That was not a good first half at all. Uh, nobody's doing well but this guy, apparently. But he also hasn't captured a single point. So I don't know where he's going or how he's doing so well, but... We need to step it up. I mean, I don't want to end the video on a 15 and 13 after doing so good for games one and two. No, so we need to get at least get ourselves to a 2 KD by the end of this next round. I'm going to be annoyed. Have to get ourselves to a 2 KD by the end of this game, which means we're going to have to go like 15 and 15 and 0. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. But I mean, honestly, on, on the bright side, I don't know if I mean, I've looked at the uh, view time on these videos, I don't know how many people have actually gotten watched an entire one of these episodes, so I guess if the, if the last game play is not the best on at least, that's okay, at least it wasn't the first game. That was a great nade, jeez. Dang it! Oh, that's why we're playing against a clan. That makes sense. And they got a big kill streak. Not from a. Not from anything but a care package, though. Let me go upstairs. Yeah, I was stupid. Come on, teammates. Would you guys please wake up? Oh my goodness. This is so aggravating. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Come on, let's go. Can I please have some support, teammates? Enemy Big streak was really bad. And then I got hit by a Molotov. Dang it, this is a struggle. I just have no team. There's smoke everywhere. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to do. This is one of those lobbies where I just don't have an answer, unfortunately. 
and it genuinely sucks when you don't have an answer. Like you're doing, like I'm doing bad and I can't figure out how to do well. And of course he's right there of all places. This is frustrating. I hate doing bad. I hate it so much. I'm certainly not trying to do bad. But, yep, I just don't think I have the best weapon for this map. Or for this particular game and how they're playing it. Like, I'm, I'm so dead. Uh-oh, I'm, I'm screwed. I did kind of have a feeling that this game was going to be a bit of a struggle when I was looking at the ranks. And I saw that a lot of them were Master Prestige. I was like, hmm, this is going to be tough. Not the way I would have liked to end an episode. 30 kills, 23 deaths. Oh, but on the bright side, our first two games were like a 10 KD or were really solid. So I can't be that disappointed. There we go. We're going to end it on an okay note. 10 kills positive. But yeah, see, when I saw these levels, 1451, 292, 987, 1763, I was like, this is not going to be as easy as the last one. And well, it turned out to be correct. Somehow this guy got 73 kills. Nice job, because I sucked. I sucked that game. That was not a good game at all. The episode itself was good. I mean, if we have a 1KD game, and then but the first two were a 5 and like a 6KD game, well, I'm not going to complain about that. Why, why on earth would I ever complain about two-thirds of the video being really, really good? It just seems silly. Um, but anyways, go ahead and take a look at our stats and where they have landed at the end of this episode. I knew it was going to go up. I definitely knew that it was going to go up. So we are now sitting at a 2.11 element death ratio which is really good we have 941 elim eliminations almost up to a thousand our score per minute is a 710 so that went up a lot but that also doesn't really surprise me that much we broke our new kill streak record we have an average of 27 kills per game and we are sitting at a 0.88 win loss ratio which is probably going to be where it stays to be honest just because it's harder to win when you play solo here within this game. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this next episode of Race to Prestige here, or Road to Commander here on Black Ops Cold War. If you guys did enjoy this episode, a like rating is always appreciated. Want to check out any of my other previous episodes of this series. They will all be linked down below in the playlist in the description. As well as they will also be at the end of the video for you guys to check out as well. And I'll see you all on another Call of Duty video very, very soon.